Greetings, Eric Backer, naturopath, author of Candida Crusher. Today I'd like to talk to you about miso, about the miso, which is basically made uh, as a fermented soy product. There seems to be uh, confusion about miso, whether it is an acceptable food if you have a yeast infection or not. Some people I talk to say it's totally unacceptable. It, it contains yeasts and molds which can stimulate uh, candida proliferation. Other people say it's a fantastic food and it should be consumed. So people out there will be very confused about these uh, varying stories. So my take on it is miso is a perfectly acceptable food if you have a candida infection, providing you buy a good quality miso that's unpasteurized, uh, unhomogenized, unpasteurized, and it's at least two years old. You'll be buying a very good quality food, and a small amount of miso uh, each day uh, is acceptable. I believe miso is a more beneficial food in the cooler weather as it's a warming food than it would be to have in summer, but, but you may have other ideas on that. So, uh, This video I'm not going to talk about the soy debate, that's quite political, you can read about that in my book. Uh, I believe that soy products are okay for some people, uh, and particularly uh, they're problematic if infants have them, or menopausal women consume too much uh, soy which is unfermented. But Myself and many patients I have have been eating soy for 30, 40 years. I believe it a part of a balanced diet, soy is perfectly acceptable food when it's unfermented. Like anything, if you're going to eat red meat three to four times per day, that's going to be a problem. If you're going to have 12 eggs a day, that's going to be a problem. If you're going to consume tofu three times per day uh, as your main form of protein, it's going to be a problem. Everything in balance and in moderation is the key to a healthy uh, body and a healthy life. So coming back to miso, miso is a good food and it's particularly good if you make it in a nice warm broth and put some bonito flakes in there and perhaps some onions and some other uh, sea vegetables like wakame. It's a very good food to eat. High in essential minerals, high in iodine and many other minerals. So it's a fantastic food and it's a food I encourage you to have quite regularly during the, uh, the fall or the autumn or the cooler months in particular. Having one to two cups of miso soup a day is a great food. So I hope that uh, dispels a few myths and answers a few questions. Thank you.